And this is what he said. We, this is Carl Sagan. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. When I heard him say that, it really struck me at how important it is for there to be continuity of life. Because for all we know, we may be the universe's only opportunity to understand what happened here. For all we know, mankind, we are the, it's, it's, we only have limited information, but all we know, for all we know, we may be the universe's only un chance to understand the magnificence of what happened here. We may be the, like, can you imagine all of this magnificent universe happening around us and nobody being there to observe it? And nobody being here to observe it. What was the point of it all? What was the point? This most magnificent, unmeasurable, unending, infinite universe, as far as we know, we are the only chance that the universe has to know how magnificent it really was. And we're nothing more than dust on a tiny rock circling a medium-sized star that is all but insignificant in a galaxy that is an average galaxy in a sea of galaxies. We are so insignificant, but for all we know, we may be the universe's only opportunity to understand what happened here. And because we don't know that there is another, we don't know if there's another civilization out there that is understanding the universe and, and, and can, can bear and can carry the responsibility of understanding the universe while we play around with our petty politics and spiral down to destroying ourselves. We don't know that they're over there doing that. So don't we have a responsibility to do it? Like, damn it, don't we have the, we have a responsibility to record what happened in, not on this earth, this earth is magnificent and amazing and, and we don't even understand it. But this is just the beginning. There's so much more. There's so much more. And while we are insignificant and as fleeting as dust is on our bookshelves, and there is a bit of arrogance in the assertion that we could even come close to understanding what happened here, but God damn it, we got to try. And if our politics are destroying us, then that's all the, you, you understand why I've, I'm energized tonight because I don't have to talk about the pettiness of our politics. Monday through Friday, I will because we gotta deal with it. Because the number one thing that would keep us and from, from learning and the number one thing that would destroy us would be our politics. I just think we have more responsibility. We have a moral imperative. We have a universal mandate because we don't know if anybody else is understanding the magnificence of the supermassive black holes at the center of our universe. Like, Who's studying that? Who's recording that? Who is mastering that? Because if nobody else, if we don't know if anybody else is doing it, I think we have a moral imperative for us to do that because if we destroy ourselves, <laughs> folks, 
I know I'm dramatic. I know I'm extra. I know I probably smoked entirely too much weed in my time. Okay. Not in my time, in a concentrated period of time at the beginning of this pandemic. But if we destroy ourselves, for all we know, we could have been, we could have destroyed the universe's only opportunity to see how magnificent it was. Yeah.